Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. We're happy to see you again. Um, this time of year, or, well, actually, maybe even exactly today, is um, two years ago, is when Julia and I started working together. And over the years, over the two years, which seems like 10, working with Julia, <laughs> over the years, <laughs> we have created lots of blog posts, Instagram content, um youtube videos we've started a membership brave brushes studio which is the best way to learn from julia by the way bravebrushes.com that, that's all you need <laughs> but that's not the point today so over this whole time i figured out a question that um julia hates <laughs> more than anything else in the world uh, a <laughs> question know, that drives her crazy. When I ask her about art supplies, art techniques, but mostly, yeah, art supplies, uh, she always says, it depends. But I back her into a corner and I want to have a definite answer, like, which brush should I buy? Or which one tool should beginners choose for example to use as a source of ink in their urban sketches uh, very often you use a combination of watercolors plus some sort of black lines and this could be a fine line a fountain pen a brush pen i'm sure there's lots more mm -hmm. but if you ask julia well which one tool should i buy her answer is it depends it depends <laughs> and so today's video is uh well we're going to try and extract this answer from julia so imagine julia i'm really well you don't have to imagine it it's still it's true about <laughs> me i am <laughs> starting my urban sketching journey i am well and I have, well, a limited budget. And also, um, yeah, just I'm not too keen, you know, uh, on buying lots of supplies. Yeah, because so, you need to discover if it's, it's safe for you. For you if exactly. You, if so I see from, well, what I can see on your desk, you're going to make me buy three fine liners, two fountain <laughs> pens, a couple of brush pens, and then there is something else. Is that a dip? And or something yes. else, yeah. Yes, okay. <laughs> so, what's yes. the difference, and why do we need so many? And can I really choose just one? Yes, you can. Oh, <laughs> you can, you can. Um, the video oh, is please. over, you guys. <laughs> read, <laughs> read the comment section. Do you want to, to know, to know the answer answer. What, what, which one? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Julia, let's go yeah yeah so uh and uh, and the answer to a question uh if you uh, need all of them absolutely not <laughs> absolutely not so first let's let's take a look at what i have here and what all these tools uh, actually do okay uh, so i have some fine liners and uh what we um what we can do with uh, fine liners we can uh, draw um lines Every single line or every single fine liner has its thickness, of course. And when we draw a line, it's that thickness. So you can vary the line uh, of the of that particular uh, fine liner. So the variation of the line can be achieved uh, with different with three different fine fine liners. So um, let me show you what you can do with with the fine liners. Uh, you can draw, for example, something like this. Not if uh, you're a beginner. <laughs> not if you're a beginner, but this is what you can <laughs> you can uh, actually draw. Um, or you can see that uh, the lines are pretty much the same. So uh, there is not. Uh, much variation 
uh, between the lines uh, when uh, uh, the parts are darker then I maybe used uh, another another thickness a fine line, fine liner uh, thicker fine liner mm, and I um, mm, I created the darkness just by um, by creating more lines um, on the same place how whatever how can I explain it you just uh, draw them closer to each other so this is the way to create uh, the darkness um, the disadvantage of this um, uh, way is that uh, the fine liner gets uh, um, the, the ink gets um, no, you you run uh, off the uh, out of the ink very quickly if you. Uh, okay, see guys, what I have to deal with <laughs> <laughs> already three fine liners and there's disadvantages. <laughs> so not a straightforward answer. Okay, this next. No, question. no, no, no. But we will, we will first talk about the the possibility. Okay, it always okay. depends, Julia. It always. It depends. always depends. It always depends. Of course, you can also uh, create more um more um uh contrast by adding thicker lines and for that you need a thicker fine liner or a brush pen so the brush pens mm -hmm. i have here uh three of them so there are different kinds of br brush pens and uh this is um a thicker one uh, or let's let's start with one I can draw very thick uh, thin lines but also a very thick line so this is the benefit wow. of this okay. of this fine liner or a, a brush pen that you can create different kinds of lines you can also um, vary the line while you're drawing that's very nice uh, another a, a little bit less flexible brush pen uh, the 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 um, line thickness is a little bit less um, different okay. but you also can use a brush pen like this and uh, if we use this one you have quite a lot of control so you you can um, achieve very thin lines very thick lines uh, but you have a lot of control. Uh, with this one, it's a little bit more difficult to achieve the, uh, of, or to, to have control over your line. Uh, however, you can color very uh, large areas. And what, why would you want to do this? You can, for example, want to draw something like this. And it's very difficult to color, or not difficult, but you have you need a lot of ink for uh, for these parts, for example. So I don't want uh, to um, uh, to use my uh, fine liners for lines lines like this or for areas like this because, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> maybe after uh, one. Um, a uh, drawing session I have no ink anymore in my in my sketch or in my in my pen in my fine liner or something like uh, this for example it's much easier to um, to use brush pens especially uh, this uh, brush pen with a very uh, flexible nib and you can get a lot of ink out of uh, out of this pen um, so this is what you can do with brush pens. Um, next, and we have a video devoted to brush pens and how to use them in urban sketching and yes. how to create different kinds of lines. So if you're interested in brush pens, if you're not like me, who only needs one answer, <laughs> right, then do watch that video too. Um, yes. Yes, that's um, that's a very good video indeed, and there is also a practicing exercise. So okay, uh, moving on, Julia. Yes, fountain pen. Uh, <laughs> Before I give up <laughs> trying to <laughs> get an answer. <laughs> All right. So this yeah. one is a fountain pen. This is a fountain pen. You can um, also draw with it. Uh, the 
the line um, variety could also be quite nice. So I think this is also a very nice um, way to to add uh, lines to your sketches. Um, so um, do I have something that I don't know here? For example, you can use uh, the prompt and pen for adding lines. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty much the same as. Um, uh, yeah, maybe a brush pen. The, the the variety of the line is a little bit uh, less, uh, a, a little bit smaller, but um, uh, you can use it pretty much the same as brush pen. Uh, okay, so and the last one is um, dip pen, and this is something very fun. So we need ink <laughs> and I think uh, I know some people use it on vacation I don't because I really don't understand how to make it uh, clean at, on vacation yeah, how not to make a mess exactly <laughs> especially in your bag <laughs> yeah and um, so but you also can vary the line and you can create very very interesting drawings and I have one of my favorite sketchbooks I think <laughs> this is not urban sketching but it's also something um, that you can do uh, with um, a dip uh, pen uh, you can add uh, lines to your sketches uh, but the disadvantage of this uh, this pen is that um, the ink is not uh, is not waterproof, so you only can apply it when or you uh, apply it. Uh, so you you apply it actually on the top of watercolor. Um, maybe you can use carbon ink. I'm not I'm not sure actually if you can use it for. Um, for dip pens but that's not very important for now it depends okay julia i'm getting a feeling like i need all of that um all of those supplies i do need them all right away and... yes. no you don't <laughs> no you don't uh and this is because uh let me show you why what what you actually really need and what you what is the best the best tool to start with one do you promise one. just one yes just one okay. and this is um the 0.5 okay. millimeter uh fine liner it's the only thing you need for starting okay thank you <laughs> <laughs> for giving me a straight answer for one so it's yes. 0.5 yes. millimeter black fine liner black fine liner waterproof uh, fine liner i'm guessing right you want yes yes uh especially if you want to uh, to use watercolor on top of the uh, fine liner so this is what... well let's say i don't know how i want to use it so it's safer to go with a with waterproof. A waterproof make sure it's yes. waterproof not just water resistant yeah so really waterproof fine liner okay. yes yes definitely i think that's the best choice you can make because you ensure that your watercolor uh, sketches will not get uh, ruined by uh, soluble ink. Mm -hmm. um, so, and when you because you don't you actually don't need all this line variety at the beginning. You can start with this uh, with this uh, fine liner later you can when when you master it a little bit <laughs> you can add the thinner and the thicker fine liner to it and then you can start to add one of this 
right. oh, to add a little bit more contrast to your sketches. Um, so, um, and when you master all of <laughs> this, <laughs> these tools, uh, you can try to. Um, okay, to, so I think to, I, I don't think I will ever get to the <laughs> deep pen. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by the pace, I'm progressing. All right. Well, thank you, Julia. This um, has been helpful. And um, as for you guys, thanks for watching. And as a reward, I'm going to also share the question I hate more than anything else in the world, a question coming from Julia. And uh, the question is, when will you, Anna, start sketching yes yes we and a membership for <laughs> artists right with 15 large courses that can take you or me through the entire learning process from zero beginner to a confident sketcher yet <laughs> guess who never sketches uh so don't be like me, <laughs> go to bravebrushes.com, sign up today and start sketching. And then you'll have a perfect excuse to buy all those wonderful sketching supplies. Yes. But Sketch also... first, buy more supplies later. Exactly, exactly. Start with what you have. Right, okay. <laughs> well, let us know in the comments if you agree with Julia's choice of number one tool for beginning sketchers for drawing uh, black lines and we'll see you soon happy sketching happy sketching <laughs>